Welcome to another episode of Random Crypto. Let's start off with our disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor and I'm not offering any form of financial advice. Everything that I say is just my personal opinion. You should always do your own research before making any financial risk. Any investing is a risk and nothing is guaranteed. How's everyone doing? In this video, we're going to go over storage. Storage currently right now on CoinMarketCap is around 31 cents. Token is ranked 116. And the only reason why I picked this project today is because it's one of the few that's actually in the positive while Bitcoin just gets hammered today. I think January 9th I saw it around three dollars and four cents which I am just not oh three dollars and thirteen cents interesting current markets it's quite a lot let's look at the project decentralized cloud object storage that is affordable easy to use private and secure the storage network uses client-side encryption so data owners can trust that only they can access their files. Its S3 compatibility also makes it simple to implement and scale along with your needs. Reserve your spot on the storage network, launching in early 2019. Here are the partners. It is open source, so if you want to learn more about it, you can. Click here. These are the benefits. It's secure and private. It's got end-to-end -end encryption. It's affordable, performant. What I read from this, it kind of reminded me of Torrent, so what it's saying is it's going to divide the file into multiple files and then from there once you want to access it you can access it from multiple locations at the same time which actually increases the transfer speed it's resilient erasure encoded i looked into that and it's pretty interesting i can only assume that once it's accessed or transferred from machine to machine as it's being transferred over the block the blockchain the code's going to erase itself so it's not going to have any remnants in any machine easy to use and open source here's the pricing so if you want to rent out some storage, 0 0.015 cents a month, it's pretty interesting. And I'm guessing they're going to give you five cents to uh, use your resources. So here's use cases. So of course, backup and recovery, media storage, hybrid cloud storage, large file transfers. So kind of as I mentioned about the torrent thing, it'll well, you can transfer your large files up to here. And if you want to access it, it'll be a lot quicker. Log files, anybody who's in IT knows that log files can actually get huge and immense so if you need to store them I'm guessing you could store them here I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to have a running log but it is pretty interesting here is some news upcoming milestones so version 3 of the white paper public alpha launch and storage node version 3 I actually joined the waitlist to use the, to use it because it just sounds interesting it sounds pretty secure and I and I I always thought cloud was uh, a good idea but there are its vulnerabilities. But I think being on the blockchain, it might be a lot more secure than how it is today. And if you want to have them use your resources, you can join the waitlist for that also. Last, I'm going to leave on some news. So right here, it says Vitalik pretty much got into a tweet battle with this guy, Dr. Doom, and he revealed how much Ethereum he's had and pretty much his wallet, too. Uh, right here, he says he's never owned more than 0.9 Ethereum, which is actually kind of a lot, I think, personally. Uh, and then the guy kind of says that you know he was worth billions of dollars they were him and his team are criminals and they pre-mined uh, he says that he's you know it's not a it's not a crime to pre-mine and they his worth his net worth never came close to a billion dollars and he also pretty much gave out his wallet which has all his transactions he also did mention that he's you know he did give to charity and there were some gifts i honestly just think it's it's awesome that he just kind of put it out there thanks for watching guys talk to y'all next time